and this is a new tool that I added to the Git repository, which is finding automatically environment variables inside string inside strings. So the main use of it is when you are then let's say you want to import some geometry. Let's say I have this geometry inside my my user folder inside Windows. So I'm just gonna drag it inside the geometry file. You can see it reads it very nicely, but obviously this is not a great path for the Houdini. So we want to use as, as much as we can environment variable. So we just press on it under the Farm Utils. There's going to be a new option, which is find find environment variables in strings. And going to, going to basically scan the string and going to find environment variables that we can use. And you can see it should be a uh, it should be sorted by the by the uh, by the shortest strings on the top, and you can see we can use uh, the best one will be for us to use the user profile geo like that. Except you can see it's going to change the change the environment variable to the user profile. We press on it, you can see it still works, and we are using the environment variable instead of a direct path to it. So this was really useful for me. Uh, let's say let's go to the let's show another example i have a let's say i have a cache drive which is actually in a it's not in a c fault it's not it's not my os but this is my uh, f drive basically other drive and i want to import let's say this geometry i have just some geometry let's try it again and i just uh, pressed copy paste i just copied this this one Inside geometry, actually paste it, but you can see this. Uh, I paste it, but you can see that whenever you copy the file directly inside as as a string for these, it's always going to be this file uh, path. So actually, it's going to tool is also going to take care of it. So we just paste it. You can see it's going not going to work. I'll just go ahead and go to the find and mind variables in string. You can see it's going to, this is my custom environment variable, which is a cache drive, which is an F, just an F drive. And you just press on it, and you can see it has imported the geometry. And these, uh, and these things does not have to actually exist. So this actually came about when I, imp when I, when I tried to do some of the tops, import some geometry from the tops. So what I have here is a folder which points to the some of the uh, mega scans assets i downloaded which is inside here which is three basically pointing to all of these and i want to probably use something better than a direct uh, path to it so again you can see it's going to give me probably the best one for me is to use the user profile like that you click it that's it. And once you rename it, you can do it again and use other ones. Every uh, so yeah. So that's that for this. And this is great for the, your custom environment variables where you have your own paths. You can then just from those folders just copy the files and then just rename it from this. So that's it for this. Go ahead and try it out and see you next time. Thanks.